Hi everyone, in this video we're going to see the biggest mistake that majority of the beginners do while learning DSA and because of that they feel that DSA is very difficult and they're unable to improve their problem solving skills. So we all know that DSA is very important, especially if you're a beginner, if you're a fresher and you want to crack the top companies like say Google, Flipkart, Amazon, Microsoft, those kind of companies, then you know that DSA is something that you absolutely need to know in order to crack into them. So while learning DSA, this is what this is how majority of the beginners start, right? They start learning through the topics, they go on a website like Lead Code, and let's say they start solving an easy problem. They look at the problem statement, they try to come up with the solution, and then sometimes they get stuck. And when they get stuck, they give it more time. And then again they try, and then they give it some more time, again they try, but they're never able to come up with the solution. And what happens is that sometimes they feel that they should not be taking any outside help and they should be doing the problem only by themselves. So this puts you in a vicious cycle where you just keep giving the problem more and more time, but you're never able to get the solution on your own. And this makes you very, very frustrated. So this is not the right approach, especially if you're a beginner and if you're handling an easy problem or an easy medium problem, then you should not be giving any more time than what is necessary. So if you're giving an easy problem more than 20 to 30 minutes, if you're giving an easy problem, let's say two hours or three hours, then the only thing that you're doing is you're wasting your time, you're frustrating yourself, and you'll feel that DSA is boring. So it is not going to be feasible for you to do that in the longer run. So what you should do, if you're coming across a problem, especially if it's an easy problem, give yourself 20 to 30 minutes, try to solve it if you can. But if you're sitting for 20 to 30 minutes and you have nothing that you can think of, and it's only making you frustrated, then you can look at the solution. It's not wrong to look at the editorial. Okay, this is the approach that you should do. Instead of wasting more and more time on that, go take a look at the solution. Okay, now I would say avoid video solutions because it has a lot of uh, spoon feeding, but textual solutions or tutorial or editorial, you can definitely read. So this is what you need to do. Go take a look at the solution and try to read unless you get a hint unless you have that you know that aha moment that light bulb moment where you feel like you've gotten the solution and then solve the problem but never ever look at the code code it yourself you can look at the solution but you have to code it yourself so if you are giving it time and you're not able to get anything you can directly go to the solution you don't need to waste any more of your time especially on lead code there's a discuss section where a lot of people have elegantly explained their solution their approaches you can take help from that. It's okay to take help, especially if you're a beginner, especially if you're solving easy problems. And you should not be going and spending your entire day on just one problem that is not going to be feasible and you will get frustrated. You will just end up quitting DSA. But again, there's a catch. I don't want you to take this otherwise and directly jump to the solution after just thinking for five minutes, okay? It should not be like that either, that you don't try. You have to try your best within the time limit. So the time limit is the one thing that matters. You have to set a timer while you're solving problems. Always solve problem under a time limit. So for easy problem, you can take around 20 to 30 minutes. For medium problem, you can take up to one hour. And for hard problems, you can take around one to two hour. Again, depending on how much you're able to think. Okay, if you're not able to think anything at all, then you can go to the solution. There's nothing wrong in that but do give it a try don't directly just look at the problem for five minutes and then jump to the solution that is also not a good approach okay so this is the one mistake that i've seen so many people so many of you doing again and again where you come to me or you come to people and you say that dsa is so frustrating dsa is so difficult and despite of me giving all my time i'm still not able to improve in problem solving skills so that's the thing you don't need to give it all your time you only need to give it the time which is required because sometimes it might be that there's some underlying concept or there's some underlying algorithm that you don't know of. And if you don't know of it, how will you solve the problem without knowing? So look at the solution. If there's any new topic, if there's any new concept or algorithm, then read about it and solve more problems on that to strengthen up your concepts. Okay. And I always suggest while doing DSA, make a sheet, make a sheet where you keep track of the problems you have solved where you keep tracks of track of the problems that you had difficulty in, where you keep track of the problems that you could not solve by yourself. So organize the problems in these three categories, along with the topics, the code to your solution, etc., so that you can revise the sheet 
before your interviews so yeah that's pretty much it dsa is not that difficult trust me you see all these people having a lot of skills in dsa it's not something that is very difficult to achieve you can easily master dsa if you follow the right strategy if you follow the right approach i've made a lot of videos on it so if you still have any doubts feel free to leave any comment or you can dm me on linkedin or on instagram and i'll be sure to get back to you and remember it's not that difficult you can easily do it it's easily doable so that's pretty much it thank you